in the olden days, this was what we used. Our mothers and grandmothers used to make starch, but times have changed. Today, I'm going to teach you how to use a non-stick pot to make your starch. Welcome back to my channel. Are you new here? If you are, you can hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified when I have new uploads. And like, share, comment to help me grow. Thank you so much. I love you all. Stay blessed. Gradually, you notice that it will start to thicken. At this point, you will know from the texture. From the feel of your hand if the starch is going to be too hard it's going to be too hard you can add water that's why i didn't dispose of this water i left it here so that uh, in the process if i found out that my starch is too hard i just add water to it so i keep going round and round You don't like how what I'm feeling in that sort of palette, so I decided to do it with regular, as we we'll call it, toning garlic. <laughs> I know some people have issues with that name, with that word. So it 
is lagging. So some people call it turning stick. That is not turning stick, it's not turning gari, it's lagging. Or whatever name you decide to call it. Okay. So here we go. Here we go. Here is the magic. Here is the magic. Here we go. Apparently, my starch is too hot. I'm going to add a bit of water. See now the color is changing. So now it is getting cooked. I need to just, just keep turning and turning. I assure you if you use another frying pan that is not non-stick it's not going to be this easy for you no. definitely it's not going to be this easy it's this easy because i'm using a non-stick pan that's why it's this easy So our starch is ready. Look at how beautiful it looks. I still want this edge to have that nice color. So I keep flipping and flipping until I have the color I want. So when you see the color like this, you know that this particular part is not done. So you flip it and you let it rest. Okay. 